from the New England Patriots. Nine and three, first place in the AFC East. They currently have the second seed in the AFC, which would mean a bye for the ninth year in a row, I believe. I if they can hold on to it. Uh, they travel to Miami to face the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins got by uh, the Bills barely last week, Greg. Uh, but Pats, this is Pat season. You know, and and the kids they do S Z E N, Pat season. Uh, December football, they take care of business in this spot typically. They do, except not in this spot specifically being Miami. Miami's they've, trouble. They've lost four or right. five there. It's what? Pretty, pretty amazing. This is the one team that seems to get under New England's skin year Trouble season. Through right. many in this, eras. In this trip, right. They had a, a few big losses in the early Pats Dynasty area, era, and they had, they've had they now lost four or five there down in Miami. With what, that, what is Wes laughing I'm laughing because it's around this time every year that we have, remember Ronnie Brown in the Wildcat? Yeah. <laughs> well, they also knocked New England That's out right. of the playoffs. Or at least it was in that 2002 season it's after they won the Super Bowl. At least 16 years ago. Uh, yeah. There's not much to point to. With Although the, with uh, real Pats fans will also remember, I think this is kind of in Miami. It was almost where the dynasty started. A week five game where uh, Troy Brown scored an overtime kick start of that 2003 season. Erica remembers she was six years old back then. Uh, I But I'm not worried about this game at all. I don't care about the four. Oh! I'm, I'm not. I. It's weird. Patriots fans are super panicky because their offense clearly isn't as good as it's been the entire decade. It's the worst Patriots offense since probably 09, which is, you know, it's it's relative. It's still pretty solid. Fine. But I like that the way that they've changed gears and they've been way more aggressive defensively in terms of their blitzes. They're playing a little more of a defensive ball control game because they know it's a little bit of smoke and mirrors that it's all around the running backs. But it's OK. There's different ways to win games. Patriots won a lot of games last decade doing that that sort of style, and I think they're doing it well right now. One thing that's happening with the Dolphins, this came out today, that Xavier Howard has been awesome. We talked about him on Sunday's show, is out, it sounds like, but there's talk that he may have undergone or will undergo surgery on his knee. It's a bad that's loss a for, big, for the big, Dolphins. This is as good as I've felt about the Patriots since week one. I, the way they're playing, and I don't think you can just like shut down the short passing game, or just shut down the running game, and then you shut down the Patriots. That's like why Greg said you can you can win it several ways with this offense. That's why I'm gonna take the Patriots and lock them up. No, I'm not. Right. <laughs> I don't do that. That was funny. I like that. I Dan, Dan's hair was on fire. Yeah, I was. I didn't I was say like, anything. Yikes! It was just okay. <laughs> Listen, it's a mirror. I I can't see what. I that would not pass. I not look in the mirror. That would not pass the um, the point spread test. There. The I don't care about that mirror, but I I the one of just you know varied self respect. It doesn't pass that. <laughs> there is something to watch no. though. I think like Gronk. What about the Dolphins? Yeah, the Dolphins Get got out of here. Outgained by. They've only had a losing years. record one week all season. They're about to have it for two.